Weekly update for Friday, August 3rd. And I'm uh, going to be talking about uh, Colin Upton this week. Uh, largely because I finally figured out a way to store my uh, Colin Upton mini comics. 5x7 photo albums. <clears throat> which uh, you'll probably find as you track down some of the few remaining um, photo stores that are still in existence are going for a pretty good price. Uh, this one was, I think, about 12 bucks Canadian. It's about $9 US. Uh, stuff number two, stuff number three. Colin, I'm missing uh, stuff number four and stuff number five. Uh, and then I got number six and number seven. So uh, this is what I was looking for, some place that I could store many comics so that they're preserved in order. This is my, I think, complete collection of Colin Cthulhu. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. And uh, then I've got uh, a run of self-indulgent comics, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Uh, and then 58 and 59 are missing. But I've got self-indulgent comics number 60. So, uh, just a word to the wise with uh, Canada's most productive cartoonist. If you've been delaying buying Collins mini-comics because you're going, uh, where in the heck am I going to put them? Here's what I suggest is the best possible solution five by seven photo albums. So if you are interested, remember Colin Upton at telus.net, T-E-L-U-S dot net, or www.colinupton.com, uh, colinupton.tumblr.com, or on Facebook, Colin Upton Comics, or if you're in the neighborhood, just drop by and see Colin at uh, number 223-440 East 5th Avenue in Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. And there you go, Colin. Uh, another plug for your mini comics. And uh, if you can help me fill in the holes in my collection, it would be much appreciated. And speaking of Canadian cartoonists, uh, I have to say, looking at uh, all of the comic books coming out, um, being printed by Studio Comics Press at uh, the Frederick Street Mall, uh, the one that I have been most impressed by the professionalism of it is uh, the Promises, Promises Collections uh, by Julie Faulkner. And uh, this is volume one, starting tomorrow, um, is the title of this one, from 2011. And I also picked up volume two, uh, the second Promises, Promises collection, starting Monday. Uh, to give you an idea of what, uh, what it's about, uh, from the back cover of, volu of volume one, Fat-free, cholesterol-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, low-carb, and high in fiber. Starting tomorrow is everything you want in a diet book, but kind of tastes like paper. Promises Fitness is a posh suburban health club staffed by Fiona, Trish, and Shanta, three well-meaning and cheeky fitness professionals doing their best to keep a very resistant membership in peak condition. Starting tomorrow is the first collection of Promises, Promises online comics, a humorous and sometimes honest look at diet and fitness and the silliness, struggles, and successes 
that come with achieving a healthy lifestyle. So if you're interested in uh, getting current with uh, Promises Promises, you can go to www.promisescomic.com. But uh, as I say, I was very impressed. This is uh, the second volume from 2013. And then uh, the third volume starting right after the holidays. So I think you're probably getting the idea. Starting tomorrow, starting Monday, starting right after the holidays. Uh, this is the third Promises, Promises collection by Julie Faulkner. And uh, you can order those online from www.promisescomic.com uh, or you, if you're in Kitchener and you're uh, able to swing by the Frederick Street Mall, uh, Alfonso and Sandy always have these on sale uh, in the Studio Comics Press comic store. Okay. Uh, thanks to Julie for uh, signing these for me. Uh, I can finally now put them out back in the Cerebus Archive uh, recent publications. Okay, that'll do it for uh, our weekly update for August 3rd. And I hope a bunch of you will join us for our weekly update for August 10th next week.